Don't you do this to me, Chelsea Football Club. Don't you give me hope. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chelsea News. Threads, the social media platform that now I'm now on. Follow me at Football Yannick. It's linked to your Instagram. It's linked to my Instagram. It's linked to one's Instagram. Go ch- check it out. I prefer it to Twitter. And I, well, it's early days, but if you want to follow me, follow me there. Chelsea Football Club have a Threads account. And on that social media, and on only that social media, they teased a retro thing and the people are speculating a Nintendo kit. And I'm absolutely going to lose my something if we get a Nintendo kit. Oh my god, I can't tell you how much I'll lose my mind. Anyway, ding, ding, this video is brought to you by One Football. Oh yes, oh yes, totally free and wonderful. If there is a sponsor update, of course you'd hear it from me, always check here. But your phone can alert you to all forms of Chelsea news through... One football, all mobile apps, all devices actually. Um, yeah, transfers, news updates, lineups, match statistics, results, everything on a sleek, slick app on One Football. I'd really urge you guys to go check it out. I use it all the time. Simply uh, click the link in the top of the description or scan the QR code that I will leave on the screen right there. Right there, man. All right. We are going to talk about Reese James maybe being captain, what Chelsea are doing structurally in the transfer market. Lots to get into, but we got to talk about this teaser. If it is, Chelsea haven't got a new sponsor yet. We know it's not Omar Headlines. They're our airline sponsor, whichever the heck that means. But um, we haven't got a main front of kit shirt sponsor yet. Now, the Americans come along... They try and do something different. They try to get us Paramount, who, of course, are into his new kit. They were quite advanced with that. If there was any type of ownership model, that would go for Nintendo. I just feel like a little child. Look, this could be... Apparently, they could still use a Game Boy in a teaser. And the fact how the kit is meant to be built off 90s motif style, the Game Boy could just be a prop. But we haven't got a sponsor yet. And, pe- and the fact how they did it, like, you know, they teased it on their thread, and they're yet to thread anything else on there... Makes me, you know, think, ooh, maybe they see this as an opportunity to build hype on the new social media platform that everyone's using. And it's like a smart move for them. Look, man, you know me. If you got and you got you guys do know me, I'm a nerd. You probably know I'm a nerd because I've got a friggin' avocado tattoo. But more importantly, I've got a Legend of Zelda Triforce tattoo. Because I love Zelda and with that I love Nintendo. Granted, I you know I didn't play all the Wii games or whatever, and even the Switch. I got a Switch Lite. I'm not gonna talk about video games now, but for me, N64 as a 34 year old young boy was a game changer. And if we get Nintendo on the shirt, I'm gonna lose my friggin' mind. This this would be obviously this is a concept, a leaked shirt with someone's put the um, Nintendo. Uh, logo on it with the gold badge in the gold nintendo this is a shirt that not just foot chelsea fans are like football fans who like video games there will be opposition fans gutted for this sponsor this isn't an airline this isn't a gambling company this is our childhood <laughs> This represents childhood, home, fun, you know, joy. It's a joy bringer. It's not a gambling company or a booze company that's just, you know, out to destroy your life. Granted, the, you know, video games are addictive and problematic in their own way, but Nintendo, wholesome Nintendo, you know, Super Mario, waha! Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> For me, I'd lose it. I'd absolutely lose my sugar. I would, mate. I would be on the ceiling. There's been no reputable journalists write about it yet. It's just loads of people speculating um, that this could be the new sponsor because we haven't heard what it is and there's been negotiations and we know it's not going to be Omar uh, We know it's not going to be uh, Stake.com. They've pulled out. So could it be Nintendo? Imagine it was Nintendo. Ah! Maybe you guys aren't as excited as I am. And it, it's a very small chance of it happening. 
but why would they do that? You know, and it's like, you know, they've got an, and go check it out. Go on Fred's, Chelsea's Fred's, that's on the social media. It's a Game Boy with a football running through like a Sonic level. And there's like, you know, the old Lion King stuff there and it's collecting Chelsea badges. I don't know, man. <laughs> Very, very exciting. And while you're on threads, follow me at Football Yannick on there. Woohoo! What am I doing? I'm like moving stuff around. There we go. <sighs> okay, Chelsea news. Firstly, uh, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed on the Here We Go podcast. Here we go! <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it's just all Nintendo now, isn't it? He's Italian. Is that problematic, me doing Fabrizio Romano impressions in the style of Super Mario? Possibly, so let's move on. Um, yes, Fabrizio Pochettino is a super big fan. Super Mario, super big fan of Paolo Dybala. But Chelsea's focus is currently on Moises Caicedo. So yes, we spoke about Dybala yesterday. His release clause is £10 million. Pounds. Could uh, could Pochettino uh, convince him to, to sign? We'll find out. And if you want more details on Paolo Dybala, go watch the previous upload to this video. Um, probably a good time to do some housekeeping. If you want to support the content, like and subscribe. Because there's multiple videos a day. And if you like the content and you want to keep up, you should hit that bell notifications icon. So Paolo Dybala is someone that Pochettino and I guess by proxy Chelsea appreciate. But he... Romano has gone on to detail how Chelsea are not, they've learned from their mistake. Oh, thank goodness, I hope it's true, that they're not going to try and sign loads of players at once and negotiate loads. They're doing one at a the time. They're happy they made some sales, but they're bringing in one at a time and they're working on what they deem the most important player right now, and that is Moises Caicedo. The min midfielder wants to join Chelsea. They want to put him on an eight-year deal, which is interesting because the report suggested that the UEFA loophole is now closed, but they still see it um, uh, uh, the right thing to do to put him on a super long-term deal, which is strange because it means you can't amortize his uh, contract across the eight years. It would be capped at five. But at the end of the day, they probably see it as he's a very good player and it will be protecting an asset long term. Uh, they don't see him depreciating as an asset and they, they want to keep him for Project 2030, which of course would see him to 2030. So fair enough. Keep your player, keep your asset for as long as possible. Protect your investment in that sense. Just can't you know, massage the financial books like you were doing before. But this is good news for me that Chelsea are now thinking straight and, um, and yeah, I'm doing the right thing. So let me know what you think about Caicedo. Of course, I'll keep you updated on all developments here on Football Therapy in regards to the Caicedo uh, move, Dybala and Nintendo. Anything that develops, I will you know, of course, be hopefully the first to react here. So turn the bell on when you subscribe. But let's talk about Reese James. So, Simon Johnson has written an article on Rhys James that was published this morning. So, his stock has risen in Chelsea's summer sales. He is their captain in waiting. Mm, 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 mm. This was what everyone's thinking that Thiago Silva will be captain for a year. He will go and then Rhys James will take it. Um, apparently, this is his ultimate ambition at Chelsea. It was during an interview with The Athletic back in 2021. That Reese's father and first football coach, Nigel, revealed how his long-term plan is for him to be captain of Chelsea one day. And his dad is a top boy, by the way. You hear him speak. I saw him on a clip from the byline Alex Goldberg's podcast speaking about as P. You know, incredible, speaks incredibly well. It seems like a bit of a geezer, but clearly an amazing... Just look at his kids, Lauren and Reese James. Like, brother is doing something right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, he said this. The part where I will be emotional one day is when he becomes Chelsea captain. This is the ambition, and mine as well. The goal is that man, uh, when he, he is to be that man. When you hear Chelsea, you think of Reese James. Who tingles, tingles, Nigel, good stuff. So the 23-year-old is already very high in the pecking order in terms of how he's regarded by the fan base. Yes, he is. Yet his stock has risen even greater in the last few days, and many think he should be captain right now. Of course, uh, Azpilicueta has departed um, and he's been skipper since 2019. That's quite a good stint because it feels like four years. It feels like he's just been captain for a little bit. But four years is significant, isn't it? 11 years. By the way, like, I know I've recently paid tribute to Cesar Azpilicueta, but I watched the farewell video, as pretty much all of you done as well. And yes, it was hella emotional. 
I walk in, you know, for me, I've said on my social media platforms, he sits at the table of John Terry, you know, uh, Drogba, Lampard. He's at, you know, he's in the halls of the greats now. And there's, you know, there's no, like, he, he sits alongside them. In 11 years, first only player to win every trophy because of the Club World Cup. And just incredible. So, of course, Mason Mount's moved to United, um, which, you know, sort of kind of, he was being lined up for captain at one point. Mount would have had been a serious contender for this honour. It is certainly something that was uh, earmarked for him as a possibility by the previous regime for a brief period under this ownership too, before negotiations broke down. Uh, Mount has come out recently, by, by the way, and done an interview saying he found from the owners he was, wasn't in Chelsea's plans. So he pushed for a move. Um, this is something that I heard a while ago, but wasn't able to talk about. Um, yes, they, they they basically wanted to protect his his uh, value by making him sign another one year deal and flog him essentially. But he was like, no, no, I'll just tell me then, so he can have more control. Um, I'm still not. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about Man anymore. I don't like the fact that he's gone to Man United and, and wanted and chosen to go to Man United, even if I do understand some of his decisions. But I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm a blue. They're red. Screw them. That's how I feel. <laughs> so as Pilico era Mount gone, Mount uh, James, excuse me, has a big chance. Um, so the significant and respected presence of Thiago Silva is still at the club. Um, he knows more than better of the, the role. Of course, he's been... He's led uh, Brazil as captain to 2014 World Cup. You know, um, uh, oh, no, he didn't. He, the, the 2014 is when uh, Germany won, wasn't it? <laughs> he knows what it takes at club level. He was captain forever at PSG. Um, certainly, I can remember. Of course, uh, as Plaquette gone, uh, former vice captain Jorginho gone. There's talks about Kepa Rita Balaga, maybe, who's been third choice captain, I think. Maybe he's bumped up twice. I don't think many people will be overly happy with that. No disrespect to him. He was worked very hard last season. He's developed himself as a leader in terms of character, but it doesn't feel right. Um, left back Reese James. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Ben Chilwell is an interesting one. Because um, if he was a bit younger, he's 25, 26. If he was like 23, I'd be thinking, yeah, he could be in the future. Uh, only because... He's already like nearing captain age, and but Ben Chua is an interesting shout because he's really intelligent. He speaks really well. I know he's not academy, and he was proper Leicester, but he loves Chelsea, and uh, he properly you know, he calls Chelsea Chelsea. He's really invested in it, and I reckon he would have been a bit of an outside chance should he like have played more, less injuries. It's an interesting one because I'm only really thinking about it when I read this now. But Ben Chilwell, respectable young man, you know, likes to get stuck in. Really, always tries to win. Um, it would be interesting. Raheem Sterling is in the reckoning as well. I think though Sterling is, um, I think he's worn the armband for Chelsea before. I think so, like fleetingly in a certain game. And he is a senior player, an experienced player, and an experienced international. I don't think he's, you know, he's, he's you, know, you don't by your captain from Man City in his late 20s. Um, so new head coach Pochettino only started working the training ground on Monday. So this is day five of a training at Cobham. He must know a lot already, especially considering how, you know, ev how ready everyone was. Everyone was just training like, right, forget last season. We're all in. We're going to make this proper. It's an important one and something that he will be asked to do during his first press conference on Friday afternoon. That's today. So I will, of course, do a post, uh, a video after his press conference to talk about my reaction. I'll be very, very interested to, to reflect in you guys, with you guys what he said there. So preseason still in its infancy and there's so many players to come back still. So he hasn't even had a good gander as everyone else yet. But people are talking about Rhys James. He's emotionally intelligent. Like he's very quiet. That was my that was my concern about Reese James. He doesn't. He when you hear him into, he's like, yeah, obviously we want to win. Like, you know, like to me that's not Chelsea captain. And you know, Mount would talk with his chest out and stuff. And I thought, yeah, it's as close as John Terry. But Reese James is a warrior, and I like how he talks about like you know love, friendship, emotion, ups and downs. He's very emotionally lucid, which I dig as a bit of a sort of hippie, and. um and of course, he would beat the crap out of you on the football pitch, which is very important for Chelsea. <laughs> you know? And he is proper Chelsea. He's already got his banner as well. I know we like Mount got one and left, but Reese James has got one as well. You know, proper Chelsea. Um, 
and it looks like he's there to stay and his devotion looks second to none so reese james for me it's pretty simple it's tiago silva for a season and reese james forevermore after that or at least for a good few years but i'm interested in hearing what you guys think so make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comment section below reese james would you go straight to reese james would you consider someone else i'll be very interested in that nintendo could my dreams be true could they and of course transfers comment about everything i will of course do a video later for after pochettino's press conference so do hit the bell and um yeah man just keep it locked generally i thank you for your continued support um i am mucking about on threads the social media platform so do follow me at football yannick follow me if you follow my instagram under the one football link which you should check out at the top that's my instagram link you can get to my threads through there down with twitter all right mate love you lots see you soon